Osage Orange is the official name, a thorny tree that seems to drop useless fruit known as hedge apples. Some people call these horse apples, and it's rumored that Pennsylvanians call these monkey balls. Either way, they're basically a useless fruit that drops from the trees and rots. There may be one exception, and that is that years ago, like a long time ago, there may have been a few animals who found these as a good source of food, like sloths and woolly mammoths. I was not there, so I can neither confirm this or deny it. When it comes to hedge, or Osage orange, or horse apple, or bordark, or bowwood, or yellowwood, or mockwood, or the official name, Maclara pomithria, I'm not interested in these monkey balls, and horses don't really eat them, except the occasional one that eats it and chokes on it. And the thorns are just an absolute pain, but through the difficulty, for those who are shatterproof and keep pushing a little deeper, there is some true gold. I'm not talking about the bark, and I'm not talking about the sapwood. I'm going deeper, I'm going right to the heartwood, the magical golden wood of the Osage orange tree. When I say this is gold, I mean this is gold. It is rumored that the Native Americans traded an Osage orange bow for equal value of a horse. Again, I was not there, so. Osage orange has been historically commonly used for bows, wagon wheels, fence posts, railroad ties, not to mention holding the Midwest together as head roads to prevent another dust bowl. Because of this, I believe here in the United States, Osage Orange is abundantly available and yet so often overlooked. Now hold it right there, if you've watched hardly any of my videos, you know about bow backings. And one of the magical things about Osage Orange is that you actually don't need a bow backing. Let me explain, this is how it works. Trees have growth rings, and Osage Orange has very distinct growth rings. They've got some winter growth and some summer growth. In the summer, the wood grows much faster and is a lot softer. In the winter, it grows much slower and is much harder. And so if you take off that summer layer of growth ring and leave that winter layer of the growth ring, you can have a natural bow backing. In order to do this, you need to carve down to one growth ring along the entire length of the whole stave. And this is nature's bow backing, and it is very strong, very effective, and very efficient.
Today this was just an introduction into the awesome world of the yellow gold of Osage Orange Wood. If you want more Osage Orange Wood bow making videos or how to's, give this video a thumbs up. And if you use the word shatterproof in the comment as you brag on the person you know, your chances of winning this giveaway will go up dramatically. So Did I interrupt? Oh no, you're good. What's up? Okay, uh, are you ready to go? Uh, yeah. Can I finish real quick? Yeah. All right, guys, stay positive, be shatterproof. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, let's get out of here.